So, turbine doing its thing? Give me a minute. Come on. There we go. Now we'll never need to recharge the nest ever again. It can draw its flow directly from the ground. Is that safe? Nothing is safe, Kay. That's what makes life so exciting. Huh. But it's pretty safe. Rather unlikely to blow up the nest or anything. Rather unlikely? <laughs> well, we made it all the way here. That was rather unlikely. And yet, look at us. So right now you're telling me that it's entirely possible it might blow up the nest. Okay, I might have got a little confused in the way of my argument there. But I have been working on this for two hours. And I'm tired and sore everywhere. Speaking of which, I think I deserve a massage. What do you say? I'd say it's rather unlikely. Is that rather unlikely as in rather unlikely the nest will blow up? Or rather unlikely as in rather unlikely we made it all the way here? You'll see. Okay. That's kind of a weird vibe. Oh, come on. It's not a hunting trophy. It's a found object. Yeah, but only we know that. People are going to talk. Are you teasing me, or...? <laughs> I'm just teasing you. Okay. So, what do you think? Like it? As long as it's not in our bedroom. New life, new house. Why not a new diary too? <laughs> Whatever the case, the old one is inside in a box and I don't feel like opening cardboard boxes. Actually, I don't feel like anything. I do, I feel like taking the nest and leaving, far away. So far that my mother's would never find me. I could go to down, find some odd jobs, live on the road. Or even better, I could go to charm, change my identity move up the ranks of the underworld one by one. <laughs> Drug Lord you. I'm sure they would love that. They're already on my gluten case because I don't stand up straight and I put my elbows on the table. As I write this, I am fully aware that I will never leave. I am much too attached to my comfortable life. I am appalled by myself. Everyone is appalling. Whoa. Sounds like a rough time. Yeah, we had just moved. I felt like I had just lost the handful of friends I did have. Ironically, it was just another sector on top. It wasn't even far. I could have visited them in a hop, skip, and a nest jump. But I don't know. 
I guess I was too busy moping. There's another 20 pages of this. I demand to read them. Oh no. Two minutes of depression is plenty. Hold on. I think there is much better stuff later on. Ha! There it is. This is when I decided to write music reviews. Lahard, don't trip. I was expecting a lot from this third album, but obviously they had to start making commercial music like everybody else. They try so hard to sound cool and edgy, it is unbearable. And as much as I like the lyrics on the sophomore release, this one could only appeal to 14-year-old girls. And how old were you when their second album came out? <laughs> wait, wait, there's more. Anyway, it is a foregone conclusion. No one knows how to make music anymore. It is just watered down twaddle for mindless models. Twaddle for models? Yeah, sometimes I got a bit carried away waxing poetic. But also, did you notice that there are hardly any spelling mistakes? I acted all rebellious, but for real, I was a great student at the time. Hey, why are there some ripped pages here? Oh, I don't know. I, I must have ripped them out at the time. I don't remember. I was probably angry about something, who knows. At least it looks like you felt better afterward. Ooh, is that a poem I see? Oh. Oh no, Blute, I didn't see that. Please don't read it. I promise I won't make fun of it. It's not even about making fun. It's just that, I don't know, I'm not ready to read this yet. It's the very bottom of a pit of shame right here. Well, maybe reading it together will make the process easier. Uh, uh, go on then. Are you sure? Yeah, yeah, just do it. Rip off the bandage. <laughs> empty. I feel empty. No passion, no emotion, not even an occupation. Besides mucking up the pages of this diary to make it as loathsome as me. Ooh. That's all right. It's not so bad. How could it possibly be worse? No, okay, I'm not talking about the poetic value or anything, but it's understandable as far as insecure feelings of a teenager go. It's not easy to express how you feel when you feel it for the first time. And personally, I find it blunt and brave that you even tried. Even more so to show it years later. <laughs> I always knew that I was really lucky to find you.
Do you have any idea what time it is? The sun was still high when we went to sleep, so I would say early afternoon? No, I mean the real time. Like, the apiary's time. <laughs> then no. Don't you want to know? Not really. Time in the apiary only makes sense on apiary planets. The night and day cycles are a lot shorter here. I know that. But I like to take a look at the time before I go to sleep. That way, when I wake up, I can look at the time and tell whether or not I slept well. Can't you just go by whether or not you feel rested? That's not the same. You don't get it. It's psychological. How long do you need to sleep? Eight hours, ten minutes. Okay, so let's say it's 11 p.m. So tomorrow morning, I'll set the nest clock at 7 a.m. Does that work? 7.10. And yes, that works. Thanks. Don't you think it should be growing? It's growing. We just need to be patient. Do you think we'll manage to fix up the nest? I'm running out of places to find parts. <laughs> we just need to proceed methodically. Where haven't we looked yet? Uh, for instance, I can see fragments full of rust left on the radar. Oh, and we haven't even mapped the endpoint of the bridge the Big Potato opened. And then we'll need to double check that there is in fact a communications post on Lanaro. Aha! Uh -huh. We didn't know what to do before, and now we have too many things to do.
This tastes a lot like the cafeteria food I grew up with. Huh. Quite the compliment. <laughs> really? You have no idea. I went to the upscale cafeteria. I loved it. It was a hundred times better than what we had at home. Neither of my mothers knew how to cook anyway. Walking in their footsteps. In that regard, definitely. The apple dude didn't fall far from the tree. Are you absolutely sure that you want to try this? Well, I don't know. What's the worst that could happen? If we follow the dosing directions, not much. At worst, we'll have a really bad evening. But if we stay in the nest, I'm sure we'll be fine. Are you going to take some too? Of course. I'm not letting you take it alone. <sighs> well, then yes, I'm sure. Let's do it. Oh. Mm. Mm. What now? Now we wait until it kicks in. How long will that take? Should be pretty quick. Just a few seconds tops. <gasps> uh, Kay? Do you? <gasps> uh, Kay? Why am I seeing myself from the outside? No need to panic. I think the mushrooms have just, uh, switched our bodies. Is that even possible? Surely not. I'm guessing it's a suggestion from our respective brains. Some kind of cognitive and collective hallucination. You cannot imagine how weird it is to see myself saying that. Oh. But then, I guess I can get you to do anything. Like crazy faces. Actually, that's no fun. I'm not even seeing you. That's strange. I'm still feeling stimuli related to the body parts that I don't have. You're right. Am I in the way? Sorry. Sorry. I'm just trying to understand. You'll understand later. Come on. I can think of one thing I'd love to do. Oh yeah? What's that? You? We said we wouldn't leave the nest. It's all right. We're just in front. Couldn't you do that in the bathroom? No. I don't know if I can handle this. I don't want it to go everywhere. So what do you do now? Uh, nothing. Just hold and let it do its thing. Huh. <laughs> it works! Woohoo! Uh, but then how do you avoid splashing it all over your feet? Ow. What? Did I do it wrong? Ow. Ow. Oh. What's the matter? I, I think the shrooms are starting to upset my stomach. What? I'm not feeling anything. Oh. It's as if something is pulling at my insides. Ah. That's not the shrooms. That's my uterus. What? Are you on your period? Seems like it. Since the days are shorter over here, it's hard to keep track. But that does explain why I've been so wiped out the last few days. I feel like my gut is being slashed. Oh, poor guy. You're not used to it. Let's get you inside. I'll fix you a hot water bottle. Don't worry. The first day is the hardest. Like you said, worst case scenario, you'll have a bad evening. Good morning, Kay. Oh no, I'm still you. What? That can't be. Since... <laughs> That's not funny, Kay. Also, I'll have you know, that is my kind of humor, not yours. Seems like you left me a bit of it. Okay, it's time to go to sleep now. One second. Hmm. You're still trying to learn stuff about your slugs? I'm not learning. I'm watching. Hmm.
It is truly beautiful. Huh. And you know what's more beautiful? What? These slugs are completely blind. Like, they don't even know that they glow? Certainly not. <laughs> That's crazy. <gasps> Do you think that we glow too? How so? I mean, not glow glow, but like, do we produce something? Not necessarily perceptible to ourselves, but perceptible by, I don't know, another sense from another species. But you, that's all we do. <laughs> 